Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. What's up? How's everybody doing? Toxic, uh, Gyroniel. What's going on, peeps? Uh, I should check out this HD remake of Blinks on PC. I had no idea someone was remaking Blinks. I'm surprised to hear that, honestly. That's the first two worlds. Uh, cool. Uh, how am I playing this on PC? I'm not. Uh, for this stream, I have done something that I have not done in a very long time. I have turned on my Xbox. <laughs> Can you believe it? Holy shit. I mean, really, my consoles for me are mostly dust collectors. I don't really play them very often. Uh, I haven't turned on my PS4 in... God, how long has it been since I last turned on my PS4? I don't even know. Three minutes before class starts. Sorry, Iger J. Uh, class is more important than Pariah. Don't listen to what all the kids say. Focus on your schooling. You knew I was going to stream? How could you know that when I didn't even know I was going to do that until 20 minutes ago? <laughs> Uh, why so late today? Uh, because I was busy. Uh, and I figured, eh, eh, why not? Let's stream. Alright, later, Iger J. Good luck with your class. You can see the future. Well, I guess you can if you knew I'd be streaming today. Microsoft's own furry mascot, their attempt at it. How many people know anything about Blinks the Time Sweeper? Because I assume not many. A late night streaming is not that late for me. Uh, maybe for some people, depending on time zone, uh, it's fairly late. Uh, probably not going to be streaming too long tonight. Probably going to be shorter than the usual streams. Uh, you know nothing? Yeah, lots of people seem to know nothing. Uh, I guess when we get into the game, I will, uh, talk a little bit about what Blinks is. Is it like where you blink and you go to the future? Not exactly, no. Blinks is the name of the character. But what's up, everyone? How's everybody doing? Blinks was directed by Naoto Oshima? That is correct. That's why I'm playing it. Last stream, we played Billy Hatcher, which is a Sonic team game that's not Sonic, that no one cares about. Now we'll play a kind of Sonic team game, sort of, that no one cares about. Just wait until we stream Rodea the Sky Soldier. I don't know if I'll stream that one. People don't even know what that is. This is me building up to Penny. No, this is stuff I've been uh, planning to stream for a while. Uh, Penny will happen probably after I make the video on it, because I just want to play the game for myself. But you like obscure stuff? Well, you're one of the only ones, Soul Binku. I did a video on Rodea. That's true, I did. And nobody watched it. Is this better than sex? Um, I guess that's up to interpretation. Everyone's going to have a different answer on that. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say that for me, you probably not. I'm not a fan of Blinks, by the way. I should probably get that out there. Similar to Billy Hatcher. I don't think this is a particularly amazing game. Wow, I ordered Platinum. You made the Rodeo wiki? Wow. Uh, if you're not aware I ordered Platinum, uh, I did a video on Rodeo the Sky Soldier. I want to check it out. Is this made by Sega? No, it is not. It was published by Microsoft, actually. It is an original Xbox game. Kadokawa screwed Prope with Rodea on Wii U. Yeah, I talk about that in the video. I imagine it was because Rodea was like a very late Wii game, and so they're like, no one gives a fuck about the Wii anymore, put it on 3DS, but then they ported the 3DS game to Wii U and threw that out there. 
Which, honestly, was probably the right decision, because I bet you Rodea would not have sold if it was on uh, just the Wii when it came out. Although it didn't sell either way, so what does it even matter? Damn, they ordered Platinum. That's cool. I've always wondered, who are the heroes out there that uh, make wikis and contribute to them? Because I've never done anything for a wiki. But I've certainly used many wikis for many a thing in the past. The Sonic Wiki is a very good resource. Oh, damn, Mitch. You got a skateboard to get today and started learning? Good luck with that. I've actually been thinking about... Uh, Maybe getting, uh, trying skateboarding eventually, since I got those, uh, rollerblades a while ago. I want to start doing some of that, and maybe we'll get it. I'll get into, uh, aggressive inline skating, potentially, and then from there, maybe I'll do some, uh, skateboarding or, uh, BMX or something like that. I was thinking of maybe giving, uh, like, downhill mountain biking a try. That seems like it'd be very fun. Eric M, you got Sonic Forever the other day, and it's the best version you played? Yeah, Sonic Forever is perfect. It's everything you could ever want out of Sonic 1. It is the ideal way to play. It is a product of pure nerdism and hyperfixation, but who has, ha has a hyperfixation on Rodea the Sky Soldier? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know what about it appealed to you so much, Aorta Platinum, but your work is appreciated, even if I never went to the Rodeo Wiki. Blinks is your favorite series, Norlight? I can't imagine many people it's their favorite series. I, uh... Is it even a series? There are two games. There is a Blinks 2. That technically makes it a series of two things. <laughs> and both are radically different. I wouldn't say they're radically different. They definitely do have some pretty different fundamental design, but, you know, the core gameplay is the same. For the record, I have never played Blinks 1 to completion. I've played it in the past, but I never finished it. I did beat Blinks 2, though, back in the day uh, as a kid. Uh, my dad had an Xbox, and I would play it occasionally. Uh, any recommended Dreamcast games to burn? We'll be playing on official hardware. Um, <clears throat> try, uh, what's that treasure game with the mechas? Bangayo. Bangayo is a pretty cool, uh, Dreamcast game that a lot of people probably don't know much about. Uh, Power Stone, also a very good Dreamcast game. Uh, and then, you know, the usual suspects. Your Space Channel 5s, your Crazy Taxis, uh, and whatnot. What's my thoughts on 2? Uh, I'm not really a huge fan of 1 or 2, honestly, with the Blinks games. Um, 2 is really annoying, as it, like, throws tutorials in your face every three seconds. Uh, do I think Sega should try and bring back an older IP? I mean, they're doing that right now. They're bringing back, like, five old IPs, and I'm very excited for it. But something like Burning Rangers? I would love to see a new Burning Rangers. That would be so sick. They'll bring back more. Yeah, it said that they were going to bring back uh, more stuff beyond just the five that was announced. Why Blinks? Because it's kind of Sonic related. Now, we did Billy last stream, so let's keep on that trend. Ikaruga? Oh yeah, Ikaruga was originally a Dreamcast game. I forgot about that. Res and Daytona 2001. Is Daytona 2001 uh, good? I, I, I've never played it. You want to see what they do with Burning Rangers if it does come back? Well, if they ever do Burning Rangers again, it, the, I, I would say you should give it to Naoto Oshima to do. Because it's his thing. Let him do it. Uh, have I played Penny's Big Breakaway? Not yet. Not yet. I've been working on stuff, mainly. Blinks 2 really gives you some SA2 vibes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. This will be your first exposure to gameplay of Blinks. 
Uh, set your expectations low. I mean, it's not a terrible game. I don't think it's a great game either. How about we get into things? Uh, let me pull this up. There we go. Let's see. Volume. Probably a bit loud. Bring it down to, like, something like that. Let me know how that is, how that sounds. You've owned this game for years, but you never played it? Well, we're getting into it now. What happened on the Billy Hatcher stream? Not very much. Billy Hatcher is not a very interesting game. You just want to bother me about Tunic again because it'd be good? I am aware of Tunic. I've been wanting to play it for a while. I just haven't. You know, this intro is pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Very sampled, and it makes me think that... Hideki Naganuma composed this song because it's got some samples from his music. This intro is sick. It is. This is that funk. So good. You hear what I'm saying? It sounds like Naganuma music. Oh, it's the guy who made Bingo Highway and Sonic Heroes, really? Huh. Blinks 1 is very challenging, depending on the version you get. I've never gotten very far into the game, so I'm not too aware. Yeah, you love Naganuma? Right there with you, bro. Hey, Hylian Batman. What's up? Uh, never heard of Blinks. What is it? All right, I guess I can explain a bit about Blinks the Time Sweeper now. So for those who do not know, Blinks the Time Sweeper is made by Artoon, which is the development studio that Naoto Oshima formed after he left Sega, and he was the director of Blinks the Time Sweeper. He created the character and the world and everything. Um, and Artoon is uh, no longer a thing as a studio. Uh, most of the people from Artoon left uh, to go make Arzest. So basically, it's the same studio. Um, and Microsoft was like, we need one of them Japanese cartoony kids platformers to be our mascot. So they hired uh, Artoon to make their own mascot. And this is what they uh, came together with. And it didn't sell particularly well, and nobody really cared. And then Blinks fell into obscurity. Uh, and I believe, someone maybe correct me on this if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure several years ago, Microsoft actually allowed the trademark on Blinks the Time Sweeper to expire. So I think as of now, Blinks the Time Sweeper is technically public domain. I may be wrong about that. That might not be how copyright law or whatever works. But I think that is correct. I'm pretty sure nobody owns Blinks the Time Sweeper at the moment, so... I don't know, maybe could someone re-release these games just on their own for free? Or uh, could someone just make a new Blinks to Time Sweeper and that would be fine? Possibly? I don't know. But it's really weird that Microsoft would not value this so little that they just let the trademark expire. So let's get into it. Yeah, whatever, over I'm a save date, I don't care. Indie devs get to work. Yeah, someone make a Blinks 3. The thing is, no one cares about Blinks. This game uses gibberish language. Oh, no, I'm playing mid. Yeah, I kind of am. <laughs> but it can't be as bad as Billy Hatcher last stream. What you missed? Nothing, C. McCoy. We're just starting. Weird thing, Blinks 2 does not have gibberish language. Characters actually speak. Weird change of direction. Eileen and Batman, don't think about it too hard. <laughs> They like, they're like time cops. They make sure that the flow of time is functioning correctly in all the different universes out there. Uh, 
No, Blinks is not in the public domain? Yeah, I, I don't know exactly how it works. I just know the trademark expired. Yo, look at that destroyed moon. Is that a reference to something? I just noticed that. You still don't care for the design? I like Blinx's design. I think he's cute. I think he's got a good blend of cute and cool. Like, uh, like that other game Naoto Oshima worked on. Uh, Burning Rangers. <laughs> Yeah, I feel you, Paint Huffer. Uh, the time puzzles in Ratchet uh, and, Cr and Clank A Crack in Time are really awesome. And this game doesn't really have a lot of that. Custom maps are finally starting to be released for BRC. Sick. It's only a matter of time before we can play all the JSR levels in BRC. Yo, look at this Evangelion shit. We've detected an angel. In the later worlds, it gets so tough and complex. Huh. I've only played this game ever up to, like, the third or fourth world, I think. You know, John Linneman from DF really loves this game, which makes you want to try it more. I know he's, like, a huge Sonic fan, right? He's one of us. MS only commissioned this game after a comp uh, as a compromise after Sega told them to piss off after a deal fell through. Really? Did they want like exclusive Sonic games or something? So yeah, in, in case anyone wasn't paying attention, this world is uh, being fucked up right now, and they're like, "Oh no, it's gonna affect all the other worlds. We gotta close it off." But Blinks is like, "No, I can save that world and the time from breaking apart." And he goes to save the day. Very Naoto Oshima. I mean, fuck all the time stuff about it. Uh, that's very uh, Naoto Oshima too, right? Sonic CD and all of its time traveliness. Blah, blah, blah. It tutorializes you quite a bit at the beginning. But it, it goes away eventually. This game has an inverted camera. Can I change that? Nope. All right, we're stuck with that. So yeah, here's how the game works. You collect uh, these different types of time crystals. Different colors of time crystal give you different time powers. Uh, I just got a pause time power. I could have used it there, but I wasn't paying attention. You also have a vacuum cleaner thing that you can use to vacuum up shit. And then you can shoot it out as a projectile attack. Like this. I, I already did that. Thank you, game. <clears throat> Your objective is to kill all the monsters. You see on the bottom left, I'm getting three, four, and those give you some time, uh, time charges of that ability. If you get three of a time, uh, three of a kind, then you get one use of that time power. If you get four of a kind, you get two uses of that time power. Yep. Hello? Fuck it, bitch. They added a lock-on feature in the second game, which is very nice. Oh yeah, if you get like three or four different types of powers, then it just you get nothing. These hearts give you health points, because uh, you die in one hit in this game. But the health points like will rewind time if you get hit. The game's also very slow paced. Like Blinks' walking speed is quite slow, and uh, just in general, it takes a while to like pick stuff up. That's a Tom Tom. Can I hit it? I don't even know. See, so I got three of those hearts now. If I could get four, I'd get two hit points. But I actually only need one to be full anyway, so... Bam, and then that fills me up. I get a retry. Pop in to say hi before you go. Thanks, Gesekai. Uh, see you later, I guess. Didn't even have to use a time power here. I'll, I'll use one just because. Look, the world is paused. You can't really tell because there's nothing really going on, but it's paused. I thought I said this game was Sonic-like. It's Sonic-related. Now Toshima made the game. 
Xbox was on another level in terms of graphics. I mean, yeah, Subsonic Sparkle, it's just because it was a significantly more powerful machine than the GameCube or PS2. Uh, and we have rounds in this game. Where have I heard that before? We have three stages and then a boss fight per round. The second game uh, speeds up the pace, makes it more of an action-type game. Uh, but still with the same core gameplay and stuff. Kind of different. Patch the game to make Blinks run really fast? It would certainly help. What am I using to play Blinks? My Xbox. Oh, here we go. I can fill up on slows. It, yes, I got too slow. Yes, thank you. I know. Here, I'll use one. I'll use one right now. Boom, look at that. I'm not slowed, but he is. Which is actually a bad time to use it, because while he's blinking, he's invincible. I killed that enemy. Are the boss fights as bad as Sonic's? Honestly, I don't even really remember. Oh no, I'm out of stuff. And get some greens. Greens are some of the most interesting ones. Green lets you record yourself. I don't think I have to use it for anything in this level, though. Uh. The inverted camera's fucking me up. Oh, shit. So here's a trick. You can get all these gems here, which is money, which you can use in the shop to buy stuff, but this Tom Tom is gonna try to grab it all, too. But if I pause time, I can grab it before he can do anything. What a loser! Oh, shit, he hit me. So, yeah, when you get hit, you die immediately, but if you have retries, then the game will rewind. There we go. Yes, you can hit him. Oh yeah, and this thing just fell over. Get back here, fucker. Bam, look at that. Got him. Yeah, that's right. Run away, bitch. See if I can get a retry. There you go. So let me see. So this fell over, and I can rewind time to make it unfall over. Uh, why did I want to do that? Is there anything up there? Might have just been like, uh, this is a thing you can do. Fuck you. These are collectibles. I don't know what they unlock. Probably nothing important. Kind of late for prize stream? Yep. Uh, I was busy today, uh, but I figured, fuck it. I got some time. Oh, it's falling again. Oh, do I need a pause for something? By the way, just like uh, some other game that Naoto Oshima worked on, uh, you can see the timer there in the top left counting up. Uh, you have a 10-minute time limit to complete the levels. Just like that other game. Alright, that's that level completed. Anything around here? I think that's back to the start of the level. You like Blinks' character design? So do I! I think he looks pretty good. 2D art, he looks great. I've never even- is there 2D, 2D art of Blinks? I've only ever seen him as a 3D model. Oh, it, has Toys for Bob gone indie? Really? Good for them. Good for them for escaping the Activision nightmare. Uh, 
Uh, apparently, the time warping gameplay was about showing off things that only Xbox could do. D literally, Subsonic Sparkle? I was right about to say in response to that. What about Prince of Persia? That had time shit. <laughs> Let's see. This is a shop. Is you can get some retries. Oh, you can get a retry holder to increase the amount of uh, retries you can have. Time holder lets you increase the amount of uh, time travels you can hold. These are some upgraded sweepers. Here's our costumes, which I don't think they do anything. But I can't afford shit right now. I could afford a time holder. But I'm good for now. I wonder what Toys for Bob will make. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be great. They are a very competent developer. After Crash 4, I'm like, they can do no wrong. I'm down for whatever they got. How much are Time Stones going for? What are you talking about, Subsonic Sparkle? This is nothing like that game. This is very different. Some crazy-ass, like, Tim Burton-ass geometry going on with the levels here. Like, everything is, like, bent and warped. I think these are too heavy for this sweeper. No, no, I can get them. Apparently the Xbox would save state multiple times for this. Yeah, I mean, that's usually how, uh, like, time rewinding mechanics work in games. They store, like, the last several seconds of game, uh, so you can go back to it at any time. Uh, I guess I'm pretty good on the time that I have right now. Oh, look at that shot. I'm so far away. Pretty nice looking game for, I think, 2002, 2003. Uh, still looks pretty nice. If I can hit the thing, you bitch. Here, let me just use a record just to show it off, because I don't think I need it for a while. So I can record, and then do stuff, like kill those motherfuckers. Um, I don't know, what's up, oh, didn't have time. So now it rewinds all of that. And now, there's a clone of me that goes out and does what I just did. And this is used for, like, puzzles and stuff, where, uh... There might be, like, a seesaw, so you need to get on one side of the seesaw and then record yourself jumping onto the other side of the seesaw to launch yourself to a higher area or hit switches to open doors for yourself, things like that. Pretty cool mechanic. Uh, in the second game, they barely use it for anything, but this game is a little bit more, like, puzzle-oriented than that one. This I definitely can't suck up. You need, like, an upgraded sweeper for it. Yeah, no. The Xbox was a glorified, powerful PC rig during its time. I mean, isn't that what every Xbox has been? <laughs> They're basically just PCs with limited features. These mechanics seem pretty cool. They are cool mechanics on paper. For me, what really kills this game is that it's just too slow-paced and not super interesting with its design, at least from what I've played thus far. All right, first boss fight. Feels like they wanted this game to win over the Japanese gamer with the Xbox brand. Oh, yeah, that's clearly what this game was supposed to do. Like, look, we have Japanese games. And I don't know. I feel like Blinks is, at the very least, no worse than other, like, obscure-ass platformers from, like, B-grade studios. I don't know why this one in particular did as poorly as it did. Oh, shit. You believe the AAA video game market is marching towards a new crash? I'm okay with that, because AAA games are kind of shitty these days. All right, so check this out. All these time crystals disappear if you don't uh, get them all fast enough. So here's a way to get them all fast enough.
this game would have been more successful on Nintendo or Sony platforms? I don't know, maybe. No one would have pushed them as hard as Microsoft, though. They're like, look! It's our mascot platformer! People only bought uh, Xbox for Halo and a few M-rated titles. It's why Rare's IPs died so fast on Xbox. Yeah, probably. Like, Xbox has been trying for a while to, like, appeal to Japanese gamers in the Japanese market. Like, they got, um... What was that Japanese 360 RPG that they had? I forget what it was called. Um, but wasn't Blue Dragon? They got that exclusive as well. And, um... I forget what it was. Like, something Odyssey or something like that? I forget what it was called. But yeah, they've been trying for a while. I remember they got, uh, like, Dragon Ball Fighters or something. Uh, Lost Odyssey, that's it, thank you. Uh, yeah, they've really been trying to appeal to Japanese gamers forever, and it just never happened because the Xbox is a filthy gaijin console, and the Japanese just don't care. This level has a very nice aesthetic. I want a rewind. Give me a rewind. Uh, just one is fine. So I need to get some retries back as well. Been having fun with Star Wars games on OG Xbox, especially Jedi Academy. I played the first one uh, of those before it was Jedi Academy. What was it? Where it's like a shooter, but you also get a lightsaber eventually. It, was it just like Jedi Knight, I think it was called? Uh, I didn't hugely love it. But I did like that it used the Quake engine, so you could do like strafing and shit to speed yourself up. Jedi Knight, Jedi Knight 2? Maybe. I don't remember. Oh yeah, this enemy like eats shit. So you can shoot a bomb into his mouth. Kaboom, bitch! There we go. Got a retry. Fucking hate inverted cameras. They actually redesigned the controller for Japan because they flat out rejected the Duke. I mean, the Duke was a terrible, terrible controller design. It deserved to be rejected. Oh, to here, I could use my retry, or my rewinds, to stop the bridge, or unfall the bridge, and get across. Look at that. Time powers. I'm a time sweeper. Fuck you. Fuck you. I, I didn't get him. Oh, what is a gaijin? Uh, Gaijin is like a... I don't know if it, it's... It's a bit extreme maybe to call it a racial slur, but it's like a derogatory term in Japan for basically anyone that's not Japanese. Just a foreigner. There's a filthy foreigner. Like, I fully expect if I go to Japan, I go to some arcades and start playing some Gundam Versus, uh, people are going to be talking behind my back and calling me a gaijin, thinking I don't know what they're saying. But I will know what they're saying. Gaijin is derogatory, but it isn't a racial slur. Yeah, it's a... Uh, racial slur is extreme, but yeah, it's uh, not a good thing. It gives you the same vibes as the licensed Garfield game where you move stuff with a vacuum? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh yeah, it's like how Hispanic people call uh, white people gringos. Yeah, similar to that. Have I seen all the mass layoffs in the gaming industry lately? Yeah, I've seen them. It sucks, but shitty corporations are going to be shitty corporations, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about it.
Every time there's like a, you need this time power, they just put the crystals right there so you can get it. Most of them apparently come from overhiring during 2020, 2021. I don't know what the situation is with that stuff. I've heard that it's just about trying to hit your earnings reports of like, oh, you have big profits and then you lay off your workforce. That's so much money you save in labor. It makes you look like you made even more profits. Whatever, it's all fucked. Big corporations are fucked. Have I heard about Toys for Bob going indie? I have heard about it like 10 minutes ago when someone said it in chat. Oh God, that didn't go very far. Why am I streaming so late? Because why not? Because why not? That's why. Another thing falling. Get a consistent schedule. I turn on the stream when I feel like streaming. How about that? Kenobi was by R2 and you thought it was so fun? I only know of that game because I was looking up games made by R2. I have no idea if it's any good or what the deal is with that. See what happens if I uh, rewind this while I'm on it. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. We got treasure. We got collectibles. Don't need any of these retries, though. Could use another rewind. They made some Yoshi games, weren't that good, though? Yeah, I saw they made, like, Yoshi's Island DS and Yoshi's New Island, which I hear people do not like. Oh, yeah, yo, 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 here's a, here's a time for a slow. Check it, I gotta hit the target, but there's, like, bad stuff that you don't want to hit. I want to hit... Right now. Nope, that was the wrong timing. That was the wrong time. Oh, no. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Shit. Uh, New Island was Arzest, the devs behind uh, Sonic Superstars. Uh, yeah, Tulu Flulu. Arzest is made of a bunch of ex Artoon developers. It's mostly the same people. Which, by the way, Artoon is made up of a bunch of ex Sonic team members. So, uh, there you go. Very similar to Probe. Original Sonic team member leaves, brings a bunch of Sonic team people with them, uh, and then makes mediocre games that fall into obscurity. Although I wouldn't say Ivy the Kiwi and Rodea are mediocre. I actually like those games. If only Yasuhara would start his own studio. I guess in a way, you can say that he did the same thing. It's just that he didn't make his own studio, but he did join a studio that had a bunch of people who worked on previous Sonic games because he went to Naughty Dog, who, uh... Mark Cerny was there working on Sony, who Mark Cerny worked on Sonic 2. So there you go. It's all connected. Blinks 2 is a million times better? Uh, well, I've beaten Blinks 2. I've never beaten this game. Uh... But well, it's been a long time since I played uh, Blinks 2, so I don't really remember it too well. Small World. Well, I imagine uh, Yasuhara going to Naughty Dog is because of his connections with STI members and, like, Mark Cerny, who went to Sony. Uh, so he probably had connections, maybe got a recommendation from Mark. Probably something like that. Can I afford anything yet? I can. I can get a retry holder... I kind of want to get the upgraded sweeper, because my sweeper sucks. So I'm going to save up for that.
Uh, a lot of ideas from Crash Spyro during the PS1 era were reused from ideas Naka said no to during their time on Sonic. Really? That's interesting. The only person I know that worked on Sonic uh, at STI uh, that would eventually work on Crash was Mark Cerny. I don't know anybody else that did. You like that shop theme? Yeah, the music in this game is very good. Uh, let me see if I can't get a fast forward. I don't know if fast forward is useful for anything. Uh, but I want to get a fast forward. Game, you have to rebuy old sweepers when you need them again. Yeah, that's a weird thing in this game. When I played it uh, the last time, I was like, what? In Blinks 2, you just get an inventory of sweepers, so you can just use whatever you want. Because there's, like, different elemental sweepers that have effects, like a fire sweeper and an ice sweeper. But if you want to change between sweepers in this game, you have to rebuy the sweeper you were using before. What the fuck? Not fast forwards. By the way, how's the volume on the game? It's a bit quiet on my end, honestly. Yeah, I saw that stuff about uh, the artist that worked on Sonic 2. Seems fine? Okay, cool. Uh, but it was more than just artists that worked on uh, Sonic 2. There were a bunch of Americans uh, at STI that contributed to the game. But it was mainly Japanese developers on that game. It's quiet here too, except for the item collecting. Honestly, that's just how the game is. It is just quiet. I guess I can raise it a little bit. Raise it a teensy bit. Like that. I know how that is. So yeah, you guess it all circles back to the Blue Bastard? Exactly. That's why I'm streaming it. This is relevant to Sonic's history. In a way. Yo, someone. What's up? I also was thinking while I was playing uh, Sonic 06 that this gameplay is not that dissimilar when you think about it from uh, Silver the Hedgehog, right? You go around, you pick up items, and then you turn them into projectiles and throw them at enemies to deal damage, right? Pretty much the same thing. There's a thing there. Can I just run in the water? I'm too slow. Here's a perfect opportunity. Fast forward. Oh, fast forward speeds up everything. Oh! That is not how I expected that to work. In Blinks 2, only you get sped up by fast forward. Oops, sorry, I just hit the desk. I don't know if that came through on the mic. Am I ever going to stream any God of War games? Uh, no. I do not like God of War. Blinks was always good. I feel like if I said that, people would just be like, what's a Blinks? No, you bitch! Am I playing this game on PC on an emulator? Nope, I am playing this on my Xbox, which is an emulator. Get out of here, fucker. These are my crystals. Time gems, whatever they're called. I'm out of, uh, out of things to throw at him. Fuck you! That's right. Why don't I like God of War? Because I think it does not have very good combat. Shit! That's too big. The music says, I suck cock. I think it's the the Tom Tom saying that, but, you know, he's saying gibberish. And I think it just sounds like that, but it does kind of sound like that, don't it? God of War 2 is your absolute jam. 
Of the original God of Wars, I only ever tried playing three, and I was like, wow, this game is fucking boring. Uh, let's get another re or record, because this is a very rarely usable power. At least in these early levels. Do I know Oshima is working on the movie with Toei? Yeah, I saw saw that announced. Um, that's exciting. That's cool. Does it have a trailer yet? I don't think so. At least I didn't see one. Fuck. God of War 3 has the best combat? Then I definitely say I don't like God of War, because I thought it was really mediocre. Even by the standards of the time, when God of War was coming out, you had Devil May Cry, you had Ninja Gaiden, you had Shinobi on PS2. There were much, much better action games available. Am I talking about the old God of War fighting mechanics or the new fighting revamp? I mean, honestly, I don't think either is that good. Yeah, it was definitely never up to DMC standards. Yeah, uh... I can afford a new sweeper now. Is there any, like, info? Is this good? This sweeper sweeps up heavy trash. You can do some serious work. All right, cool. Uh, how do I... Hey. All right. I got an upgraded sweeper. Uh, can you still use Yuzu emulator after being sued? Yourself, I wouldn't worry about it. Every single time a company has ever tried to sue an emulator in the past, the court has always decided in favor of the emulator. I imagine this time will be no different. Sorry, Pariah, but you hardcore disagree? That's fine, Manga Mask. I am very snobby when it comes to combat and action games. And I just don't think God of War is up to the standards of... The best of the best. Uh, can you give advice, or is this a no backseating stream? Uh, if I get stuck or if I ask, go right ahead. But if I'm just playing the game, it is fine. Just let me play the game. If I was just playing this game myself normally, I wouldn't have no one telling me what to do. I'd just figure it all out. Ugh. So do I need to get him to be bigger? I think so. Do that like a big lunge attack, and then I can hit you in the back. Wait, I have an idea. Oh, he just did it. Well, now I didn't even need the record. I was going to use the record to get him to look around behind him. So that way I can shoot him in the back myself. Damn, I wasted my cleverness on nothing. Whoa. Maybe I can make him rewind a bit? Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm out of trash. Fuck. I'm trying to use the time mechanics in a clever way and I keep fucking up. I need another rewind. Okay, got him. Got him. Watch this. Watch this. It's gonna be so sick. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. Time stuff. I'm a real life time sweeper. That was actually pretty cool. I'm gonna lose all these. I don't have time. I don't have time to collect everything. I don't have any time powers. Shit! 
And there's no rewinds around. Did Oshima design the enemies in this game too? I have no idea. I assume so. Look at this amazing boss design. Hey, it takes advantage of the game's mechanics pretty well, at least. I think it's pretty okay for what this game is. Nintendo doesn't even need to win the case. They just need to force Yuzu devs to dry their cash reserves with legal fees to halt or take down Yuzu's development. I mean, there's still Ryu Jinx. That's still out there. And really, someone else is just going to make a Switch emulator as well. What is this walk speed? Yeah, the walk speed in Blinks is very slow. It's a very uh, slow-paced game. The Tom Toms kind of remind you of Eggman. That's just because they're fat. The setting is rad. Yeah, like underwater cave with all the coral reefs and stuff. Very cool. What is that? Oh, I can suck this up now because I got this upgraded sweeper, right? Not enough power. The fuck? I need an even stronger sweeper? What the fuck is this shit? Uh, am I planning on showing fan art on stream still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just haven't uh, set up the thing to do that yet. But yeah, by the way, uh, that was the thing I was thinking about. I might, uh, during the, like, starting soon uh, page, uh, before we get the game going, I might start doing, like, a slideshow of fan art. So if anyone has any fan art that they want uh, featured on the stream, uh, send it to my email or something. I should probably do a community post about that, now that I think about it. Uh, get away from me. You're so addicted to Sonic, you're physically unable to play a game where you can't jump? I mean, there are plenty of games besides Sonic where you can jump, so... It doesn't really limit you that much. Oh, these are like springy things. You know, the game is very, like, slow-paced and kind of on the basic side. But it's not a bad game, I don't think. Uh, favorite OG Xbox game? Probably Psychonauts. Like that one game. <laughs> Exactly, like that one game. <laughs> Are there any good 3D action games that don't focus on long combos? Like if Devil May Cry was Dive Kick? Um, I would say God Hand is a very, very good action game that's not really very combo-oriented. I mean, you can do, like, fancy juggles, but it's really not a huge part of the game. I guess also if you would even count it, uh, I uh, still got enemies to kill. Uh, Fury, F-U-R-I, that's a purely boss fighting game, and it's really cool. And that has, uh, no combos or anything, just like a basic three-hit string. Where did I miss the enemy? I missed an enemy. God Hand is really fun. God Hand is fucking amazing. It's one of the best action games ever made. I fucking love God Hand. Where did I miss that enemy? Oh god. Metal Gear Rising? Yeah, Metal Gear Rising isn't too combo oriented. Is it this thing? It's like making noise. Oh yeah, there it is. That's an enemy. Come on now. 
I was wondering what that was. How do I feel about Toys for Bob going indie? Good for them. They escaped the evil clutches of, Am uh, of Activision. Now, Fumi Hataya did some uh, compositions for this game. Makes sense, since, uh, you know, it's now Toshima. They worked together before. Shit! This is an annoying enemy type. Come on, fucker! There. Dead. Hey, Sonic White, what's up? Yeah, we're doing a bit of a later stream today, cuz why not? I don't have a stream schedule. I stream when I feel like it. It's probably just gonna repeat answers for previously asked questions. I mean, if I see him, you know. People come and go, they miss things. It's not their fault that uh, they ask a question that's already been asked before. God of War is about 10 billion times deeper than Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, the problem is that 10 billion times zero is still zero. I would say it's better than that. Like, if we're judging uh, the quality of combat, Sonic Frontiers is a zero out of 10 because it's barely combat. I would say God of War is like a four, five, maybe? Uh, didn't God Hand get poor reception when it came out, or are you thinking of a different game? No, God Hand got horrible reception when it first came out, because it's a very nuanced, uh, depthful game that is not immediately obvious how to play it and what to do, but when you, when you figure it out, when you get in there, it's fucking sick. Oh, damn it, I just bought this sweeper, and now there's new sweepers. What does this one do? Goes round and round, it's enough to make you dizzy? Well, that doesn't tell me shit. What about this one? This one sweeps in. Boy, is it fast. I could use a fast sweeper. But I just spent 2,000... I shouldn't have bought a sweeper. Is there, like, an endgame sweeper that's, like, better than all the other ones and it can do everything? There probably is. You probably shouldn't buy sweepers. It's like RE4. Don't upgrade your weapons because you're just gonna get a better weapon later. Yes, there is a better... Damn it, I wasted money. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna save up for retry holders. Because those will be useful. No, nothing so far, Lego Luigi. Everyone's been good. No one has uh, been inappropriate towards the shopkeeper lady. They will now, though, now that you've said that. But it's way later in the game. I mean, realistically, I'm probably not going to beat this game on stream. This is probably a one-off stream. I doubt people want to see more of Blink's the Time Sweeper. Can I just go through this sandfall? Yeah, I can. Never beaten Blinks one. Neither have I. You hate Blinks? Stream Blinks two instead. Blinks two is not on uh, Xbox One uh, or the modern Xbox. It's not on backwards compatibility. So I don't know how I can play Blinks two. I don't know if it runs well on Xbox emulators. I might have to hook up my 360 and play it on backwards compatibility on that because I think it's there. But I probably won't even bother, honestly. What's the plot of this game? Uh, Blinks is basically like a time cop. He makes sure that the flow of time is working correctly in, like, different dimensions. He's part of, like, a big organization that does that. Uh, and this time dimension, uh, time is getting all fucked up. And they were gonna, like, cut it off from the time factory so it doesn't infect the rest of the time worlds. But then Blinks, being the hero, was like, No! I'm gonna save this world before time breaks in it. So that's what we're doing. These monsters are made of, like, time crystals, so you gotta destroy them to, like, restore the proper flow of time or something. But it doesn't really matter. It's a fucking video game. Yes, give me the treasure. I gotta make up for the fucking money I wasted on this sweeper. Yeah, Blinks is a crazy person for that, for real, for real. He's our hero! All the other sweepers were just gonna let this world be ruined. And he's like, nah, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna make it all right. 
By the way, if anyone wants some real Naoto Oshima lore, the, the girl. I think she's like the princess of this world or something. Uh, with the, the twin tails. If you look at her hair and her design, uh, she looks just like the little girl in Naoto Oshima's drawings uh, from the original Sonic Origin backstory. Uh, so I guess Oshima was reusing a design that he liked. There you go. Tidbits. Oh, tip before reaching the goal, collect bigger items for bigger reward? Okay. I didn't know that. God, these fucking enemies. They're annoying. Come on. Come out. Oh, what the fuck? It hit me during its, like, recovery animation. What, what is that shit? That's some bullshit. Oh, <laughs> and then the other one popped up underneath me. Nope. Not this time, fucker. That. Shit. There. The boss is a bigger version of this monster? Well, that sucks. Okay, now I need to get some retries. I'm gonna try to get four for two hits back. Sonic was just a cameo for Blinks that got out of hand. Cameo that came well before the thing it cameos in, apparently. Oh, you know what this means, right? Oh no, is this just like a bunch of free treasure at the end? Okay. I thought there'd be a Tom Tom trying to get this treasure. So if I get this, this will be a good payoff at the end because it's big. Oh, exchange... Oh, yeah, here you go. Exchange bonus. Stuff you bring at the end of the level is worth money. So what is that big log worth? Oh, look at that. 60. Oh, yeah. Bring bring stuff back. Yes. Speaking of lore, you can rescue Claris and Elliot from a fire in Burning Rangers. Uh, they've grown up a bit, but they're still together. I mean, apparently they also lived, like, to be hundreds of years in the future or something. <laughs> but, you know, it's just a cute little reference. I'm gonna get a retry holder. Uh, can I get multiple? I can't afford multiple. Yeah. Now I have four hit points. Oh, it's out of stock. Okay, then I'll get a time holder. Sweeper pack. Increases how much trash a sweeper can hold. Is that like a sign to the sweeper I'm currently holding? Like, should I not buy that? I probably shouldn't buy that, right? I should wait till I get a good sweeper that I want to keep. Oh, you can keep the upgrades? Okay. So I'll maybe pick that up next. Uh, This game looks cute and fun, man. Is it oversimplifying? Like, what's the actual problem with this game? I don't think this game has any particular problems. I just don't think it's that fun to play. It's fine. It's a fine game. I just, I don't know. It's not very exciting. It's not very interesting. I guess it's a little interesting with, like, time mechanics and stuff. But I haven't really been using them very much, right? It's been, like, a bridge falls, and then you rewind. Oh, shit. Is it on the same level as Billy Hatcher? I think it's better than Billy Hatcher. Klonoa's peak, but not a game for I would like. I guess we'll see, because I uh, picked up the Klonoa collection on Steam want to give it a try. It doesn't seem like the kind of game that I would like, uh, but I've heard very good things about it. I've heard the story of the Blink- uh, of the Planoa games are very good, so who knows? Maybe I'll do story videos on them or something. Fucking hell. There we go. And the Platinum release, the items are cheaper? That seems like a good call, because this shit's expensive. I 
I need to get some retries, man. I got no health left. Oh, what's this? Secrets? There's definitely some Naoto Oshima ass level design going on right here. Oh shit, there's four of them. Okay, hold on. I wanna get rid of this fast forward so I can get two hit points back. Shit, I don't have any bombs to kill that with. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. That reset my thing. Is that collectible down there? It is, look at this. So many things to find. go up there. Does Naoto Oshima have an art book? I have no idea. I've never heard of such a thing before. Subsonic Sparkle would know. Okay, got some records. You just thought of this game a couple, uh, a couple days ago despite never playing it? I've never played it to completion, but I have played it before. I beat the first, or I beat the second game. Never beat this one. We're almost coming up to the furthest I've gotten into this game. I beat this world, I think, the last time I tried it. And then I never beat uh, the next world, I think. How long is this game? How many worlds are there? Norlai, you still there? Give me the deets. Give me the hot Blinks pro tips. Norla, you've demonstrated yourself to be a Blinks aficionado, so I, I'm relying on you. What I ask? I asked, uh, how many worlds are there in this game? Because we're on the third world, right? I want to get more retries. Damn it. Uh, okay, you know what? That's fine. It barely even gets anything. I thought it would be like a scramble to get it before he gets it, but he doesn't get shit. He sucks. Okay, can I get a retry here? I don't know. But I still like Sonic if he was a worm. Um, I don't know. That would be weird. Probably not, if I were to guess. So I probably wouldn't become obsessed with it as a kid, because kids are dumb, and all they care about is a good character design. What did that door open? Okay, that opens that, but I need to hold that down, so I need to use a record for that. But what about this? Okay, that opens the other side, I think, right? Hard to tell. Okay, I figured that out. Okay, I see. Puzzles! Technically a puzzle! Look, it's a puzzle! Have I played Earthworm Jim? Not to completion, but I've played it before. Oh wait, that door is shut now. Gotta open it. It's probably on like a timer, I assume. There we go. Look at that. Time manipulation. Yeah, you don't like his design, Subsonic Sparkle? I like Blinks' design. I think he's cute. He's got the goggles and the little uh, bell around his neck. I think he's got a cute design.
What does a green circle mean? Green circle is a record power, so I can do some stuff, and then it'll rewind time, and uh, a clone of me will do the things I did. He must be a Digimon protagonist. He wears goggles. It's true. Digimon protagonists love their goggles. Bomb's got to be worth something, right? At the end game, and the the tally for monies. Uh, you like the chubby face design, but you like his Blinks 2 design. Sadly, you barely see him. Yeah, that's a weird thing. In Blinks 2, you don't play as Blinks. You make a creative character, and Blinks is like a minor character in the story. Really bizarre to have your mascot platformer, and in the second game, you don't play as the mascot character. <laughs> weird choice. You can make Blinks in the character creator, though? Yeah, but you're still not Blinks. Oh, fuck. I was reading chat. You're still some random asshole that just looks like Blinks, because Blinks is in the story. You, like, run into him, and he talks to you. Uh, hello? Okay, that just happened. Uh, Xbox emulator, maybe? Can I get a fourth, uh... Oh, fuck! What do I think of the turtle character concept before he was replaced with Tails? Oh, shit, he even got the rock I was standing on. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, what do I think of the turtle character concept before he was replaced with Tails in Sonic 2? Well, the old, he wasn't replaced with Tails. What happened with Sonic 2 is they were, they wanted to do a second character. So people were just pitching ideas for the second character. So that turtle was somebody's pitch for a character and Tails was another pitch. Uh, so it's not like he was replaced. It was just another concept. Someone was kipping, kicking around. What do I think of that design? Not very good, honestly. I think it's quite bad. There. So on the chat, someone said, get some pauses. So I'll get some pauses. I think there's only three. So just one will have to suffi su suffice. Ah, oh, fuck. He just like teleported onto the other side of that rock. What the fuck? No, no, no. Shit, dude. That thing really comes for your ass. When I see his face pause. I mean, it looks like you have enough of an opening there that you probably just hit him. But I need to pick shit up first. Okay. Where you at, fucker? No! Oh, it's pretty fast. Maybe I do need to pause. Duh, duh. No, he's not out yet. Come on. Come on, bitch. Get out of here. Hello? What's he doing? Step. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I missed it. Oh my goodness! This is what I was talking about before, about how this game gets hard, apparently. Shit, I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, SKSR. D d uh, sweet, maybe? Maybe sweet? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, I see. If he eats a rock, then he's, uh, he's slower and I can land a hit on him. Good. Chaos 4, but good. Yeah, this is like a real boss fight in a video game. Hey, there we go. I know the tech now. Where you at, fucker? I can't read chat, because you could die at a moment's notice. There we go. Uh, you know what? I'll use a rewind later. I got more of those. Don't know, the crystals are despawning. Well, they won't now. Aha! That's a nice, uh, clever way to use your time mechanics. Literally don't give the player enough time to get all the, the treasure. Alright, let me fill up my cleaner of, uh, shit. That certainly was faster than Chaos 4, and more fun. There was, like, gameplay there. Three hits, and he actually tries to kill you. Yeah, exactly. Alright, this is as far as I've gotten before. I think I've done this level, and then nothing after it. Oh, look at all these bombs. Oh, God! I didn't want to shoot at that. What the hell's happening? Shoot! Blinks! I have a detonated bomb in my sweeper there. There, look at that. Flams. Luigi should have the Chaos Emeralds. Luigi can't control that kind of power. He'll destroy the universe with it. It seems like if you shoot a bomb on the ground, it just, like, it hits the ground or something and detonates immediately. The collision seems kind of bad on that. Yeah, this is what I was talking about before. I remembered this from the last time I played the game. This is where you use a record. Uh... Yeah, right here I stand, and I use the record to bam, hit that. I guess I'll just do it a couple times. Did the Mario Bros. ever use the Chaos Emeralds in Super Mario Bros. Z? I assume so. How could they not? The uh, game? I don't know what that's all about. Emulation issues, maybe? Whoa, we got slowdown, too. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh, duh, duh. Shit. I missed. Oh, fuck. Duh. Uh, I didn't kill that. I still need to kill this thing. Okay, it's dead. Uh, I need another record. Here, I'll get two. Yoshi did in a remade episode? Oh, yeah, yeah. I used it to fight, uh, Mecha Sonic. Super Mario Bros. Z was really good at making the Chaos Emeralds feel like real powerful objects. Yeah, that reminds me of uh, that one anime where the kid is, like, collecting the seven magic things. What is it called? Naruto, I think? There we go. What's over there? How do I get there? I think I have to go around, maybe? Shaggy Ball Z. Yeah, that was it. I believe that was the case.
You think I'm talking about Hunter Hunter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, so I've been playing a bunch of Splatoon 3, right? Because I picked it up and I got a video in the works on it. Uh, but I've just been playing it for fun because I like Splatoon. Yo, the, the new Salmon Run with the boss Salmonids? Super fun, super crazy, super hectic. I love it. But holy shit, those boss Salmonids are so fucking hard. I haven't killed a single one. When do I plan on it to stream the rousing finale of Journey of Dreams? Uh, when I have streamed everything else that I want to stream on planet Earth. I'll get right on that. How do I get up here? I want the collectible that I don't really care about. What is the best way to play Sonic 4 Episode 1? Uh, not playing it? This is probably your best bet, I would say. I don't like how in Super Mario Bros. Z they killed all Sonic characters, but did not kill Yoshi. And eh, whatever. <laughs> it's just because it's mostly a Mario thing with Sonic and Shadow in it. I don't really care. Oops, I was too close. Good luck with the boss Salmonids. The easiest is the Godzilla looking one. Even he packs a punch. Uh, yeah, I've most... Fuck. I did the same thing again. I've mostly been fighting, like, the big dragon one where you have to throw the eggs into, like, its mouth as it charges up. Uh, and... Okay. Did I get it that time? It just had bombs in it. I just fucking lost two hit points with bombs to get bombs. I'm a fucking moron. One of the things I really like about Salmon Run is that, like, the ranked mode of it, the way it works, is you can only take on the higher difficulties by playing and winning. Oh, can I, like... Okay. This is a little weird. Oh, is this gonna take me over to the other part of the level? I see. Yeah, you can only get access to the higher difficulties in Salmon Run by playing and winning on the lower difficulties. So it means when you get to the higher difficulties, everyone you're playing with is pretty good. Like, they're good enough to get to that difficulty, so they're, like, reliable. Which I'm not used to in online games where you have to rely on teammates. Normally, they're fucking terrible. But that system ensures that you get good teammates, which I like. Although lately, it's been seeming like my teammates are not as smart as maybe they should be for the level we're on. I gave you for your awkward English you're on a phone keyboard. It's all good. What ifs? Uh, do I need any of that? Hmm, I got enough pauses. I should probably get a rewind. You getting a lot of time overs in these stages? Damn, I'm. I just realized I'm already six minutes in. Oh, is that an enemy? This door is an enemy. Is it not an enemy? But it was like wiggling. Is it gonna attack me? Oh, hello. You're the enemy. These enemies look fucking weird, man. There you go. Christ, you're never awake when I do these. And this is at a different time, Laura. Or Kroneko. Sorry. Uh, it seems like you're the one at fault here. Oh, jeez. Kuroneko, by the way. Fine choice of waifu. Good character. That fucker's got a lot of health. You really like Trip's story mode in Superstars? Yeah, everyone's bitching about Trip's story. I really didn't have a problem with it. I, I don't even understand why everyone hates it so much, honestly.
I feel like a little weird side jump or backflip you can do in this. Doesn't really seem helpful for anything. What the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna pause, because I feel like that's like a vulnerability period or something. There we go. Uh, wanted a rewind. I need some retries. Now I can get this. You know, this is not a bad game, honestly. This is a pretty all right game. Trip story has too much spikes. Eh, just avoid the spikes. Just don't be bad. Boom. There's the solution. You prefer the level design was clearly single player focus for Trip? Yeah, and uh, there's a lot of good level design that takes advantage of her abilities. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Is that my reward for getting all those? What the... <laughs> what the fuck did I... What did I just see? What was that? What the hell, man? This game is quirky. A teaser for Ballad Wonderworld? Damn. Let's see what's in the shop. Yeah, how's that sweet for soul? That's soul right there. Whatever the hell that was supposed to be. Damn, look at these sweepers. A jaguar? What's this? A famous singer designed it? This flame one? Yeah, that's, that's the fire one. What about this? Sweeps up heavier junk. Okay, that's the one that's like the better version of this. Uh, let's see. I guess, yeah, I'll just get another retry holder and a time holder. There's no more, uh... What are those, vacuum increase things for sale? So I'm just gonna buy these. They don't make games like they used to, I tell you what. What a fascinating art piece of a game. Or thought-provoking. They kept the gag movie gimmick for the sequel and they're just as goofy. I don't remember that in the second game. I don't know if I ever 100 percent of the second game. I guess not, because I might have remembered those. Oh, okay, check this. Hold on, I need to... Nope. There we go. Time powers. You can't 100% the game unless you do two-player co-op. Oh, then I definitely didn't 100% it. I didn't know that. Can I get this? Yeah, I can get that. I guess it's not really valuable to get big things, though, because it's the beginning of the level. I'm gonna end up spending all this shit. Oh. I'm gonna try to, like, get that. I don't have a slow, so I'm just gonna have to do it raw. Do I only get one try? I might only get one try. Uh, I want retry crystals. This game is way better than Billy Hatcher, can I just say? After streaming that the other day, this is way more fun. And this isn't even, like, super fun. But it's a, it's a neat little game, I would say. It's not bad, honestly. It's a little slow-paced, overly so, I would say. But it's very unique. And it's cute. It's a cute game. This might be my favorite Naoto Oshima game. Nah, I, mean, I probably wouldn't go that far. I'd still probably say I like CD more than this. But who knows? Maybe I gotta finish this first. You mean Midi Hatcher? Damn. Get wrecked, Billy. 
fuck! <laughs> I keep on doing that. Uh, does Superstars count as a Naoto Oshima game? Well, he didn't direct that game. He was, like, the producer or something. So I would say no. Okay, get proper distance. The fuck? It didn't detonate this time. The hell was that? There we go. There we go. Yeah. The, like, game of making sure you get the right crystals and avoid the wrong ones is a little awkward. Okay, I need to hit you in the back. Or I need to hit you with this bomb. There, can I hit him in the back now? Uh, Pain Huffer. Uh, it's looking cool. Uh, uh, when things start moving, let me know. I remember you saying that we wouldn't be able to start on it until, like, the summer, right? Yeah, you did? Okay. Well, uh, when you're ready to get going on those things, uh, let me know. Oh, did I not suck that up? Shit! <laughs> I fucked- I was gonna get two! I was gonna get two, and instead I got zero, because I suck. Okay, well, can I, can I get any time things here? Eh, not really. Get away from me! This is actually kind of dangerous. This enemy type is kind of a problem. That's not exactly what I wanted, but it ended up working out. Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> I was being stupid there and I died. What is this game even about? You're a time cop and you gotta fix the time. Have I been? Pretty good. The hell is this rock formation? The lore. The Blinks world building. Uh, apparently, the Platinum release toned down the difficulty substantially because the base game was way too hard. Is that not the version they used for the Xbox uh, backwards compatibility? That'd be weird if that's not the version they used. I fucked it up again. But you know what? That's actually okay here because it's got a bunch of bombs. And it'll hit the enemies. That's pretty good. Music in this game is dope. Yeah, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's like mind-blowing music, but it's not bad. Let's try this again, and let's actually get those retries this time. I'm not gonna fuck it up like I did last time. You'll see. You'll see, Mom. I'll prove you wrong. Fuck! Blinks is about a cat that saves time from pig pirates who are masters of space. Yeah, basically. Because for anyone who's not aware, the second game, uh, Blinks 2 Masters of Time in Space, and that, you don't play as Blinks, which is weird. You play as a creator character. But you actually play as two creator characters. You play as a Time Sweeper and as a Tom Tom. That, does that sound like a game? Where you play as the good guys and the bad guys, and the stories intertwine with each other, and you see it from different perspectives? That's right. It's just like that game. Shit, I couldn't think of a good joke. Someone, gi someone give me a game that that would be. Hey! 
Heavy Rain. There you go. Thanks, Nautilix. Perfect. It's like that game Heavy Rain. Which obviously Blinks was heavily influenced by, despite it coming out before Heavy Rain. I would say that's a horrible comparison, because Blinks is a much, much better game than Heavy Rain. Lil Wolfie, please don't. Don't encourage them. Heavy Rain is not even a game. I technically, I don't even know what you would classify it. It's a piece of shit, that's what it is. Jason! That's like the only thing Heavy Rain was good for. Fuck. Back here with these two. I don't want to die again. Shit, what do I do? I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a little closer. All right, here's 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 my idea. Check this. There we go. See how that works. Oh, shit, I forgot I wanted to get the retries. Okay, well. Ah. Uh, okay, well, now I'm in a problematic situation. Get out of the door. I need to get in. Oh, shit, but the record did eat up the bomb. I thought it would get a record bomb, and the real bomb would still be there. Okay, so to hit you in the back, then, I'm gonna have to pause. Yep. That fucking, like, side jump almost fucked me up. Damn, it still got health? This game seems very, very hard. It's starting to turn it up a bit, that's for sure. How do I get behind this fucker efficiently? I guess my turn is faster than him, so if I just, uh, get on his ass enough. Now I need to kill this thing. Oh, and it fell down. Okay, well, I've not been paying any attention to what I need. And I gotta kill this thing. I don't have enough shit to throw around. Oh, he's back! Oh, he's back. I need things. I need objects. I'm gonna try to not kill you. I want to kill the door ghost. Where'd the door ghost go? Come on, get back out here. Need to finish you off. There you go. I'll come back for you later when I have things to throw at you. It is way late than the usual prior stream? Yeah, it is. Uh, but I felt like streaming. So I did. And you know what? I'm glad I did. This is a fun game, actually. This game is better than I remember the last time I tried playing it. I don't know what's different now, but I, I am kind of... I'm kind of getting into this game. <laughs> blinks born, blood blinks, blinks may cry. That fuck, I missed. This enemy type is taking forever to fucking kill. Is this my favorite Xbox game now? Uh, definitely not. I definitely would say I still like Psychonauts more than this. 
Psychonauts is one of my favorite 3D platformers ever. Fucking love that game. Blinks had a rough transition to 3D. Blinks was only ever in 3D. These guys are such punks. Okay, ignore what I just said. They have killed me repeatedly every time I've run into one, to be fair. Yeah. There we go. Oh, he's got one more hit point left. Shit. I need to get a sweeper upgrade so I can store more stuff. I keep on running out. There we go. I don't have to kill the Tom Tom? Yeah, but I wanna. Where's that balloon thing? Get back down here, bitch. Hi Fi Rush is probably your favorite Xbox game. We're talking OG Xbox games. We're not talking about games for the Xbox One. We're talking about games for the Xbox One. That name will never not be bad. What's up with Microsoft and being terrible at naming their consoles? The Xbox Series is such an awful name. What the hell does Series mean? Fuck if I know. What happened to Xbox 2 out of 350? What the fuck does that mean? I remember back in the 360 days where the rumors were going to be of the Xbox 720. Where's the Xbox 720, man? I bet you if they made their next console the 720, people would be hyped about that. They'd be like, finally, the Xbox 720 is here. I mean, now that I think about it, Xbox 360 is a stupid name too, isn't it? The, the, boy. Are there any retries around here? No. The bigger things do more damage, it doesn't seem like it. Norlite! How do I kill these enemies more efficiently? They got too much health. This has got to be like the bad way to kill them, right? There's a good way? Oh shit, I'm running out of time. Oh shit. Okay, I can, um... That's fine. I'll just rewind time. That does not make, like, time... The timer is still going up. Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna run out of time. I ran out of time. Fuck. Shit. Damn. You'd never think that a game like this would be like a time constraint game because it's so slow paced and relaxed. But it is. Time is of the essence. Shit, dog. No, it's not. There we go. I took too long fucking killing those enemies because I didn't have good fucking weapons. He told me he used to time- Shit, what the hell, man? I couldn't even see what just happened. What the fuck even hit me? Oh, it was that fucker. He threw a thing at me. Bitch. I timed out exactly like you did? Fuck. so weird to run out of time in a game that feels this, like, relaxed in its pacing, you know?
Maybe I didn't beat this level last time I played the game. Oh no, this is the second level. Yeah, so no, I definitely didn't beat this. Sega named their consoles after whatever the fuck they dreamed about the previous night. Does anyone else have a stupid, like, pointless love for the uh, Sega console prototypes being the names of planets? I fucking love that. I, I wish that was a trend that continued, but they never did it. They, they broke it with the Dreamcast. That is a cute naming scheme. Yeah, I loved it. And then for the Saturn, they just kept the prototype name for some reason. This is wasting time, but I gotta kill this shit. What are these enemies? They're supposed to be time anomalies. Because that's what they look like, right? They don't look like weird, like, Teletubbies bad guys. They're time anomalies. Obviously. Trying to save the bombs for the enemies coming up. I like that the suction seems to prior- Oh, fuck! I got locked out of the- Shit, there's a bomb back there! God damn it. I tried to be smart, and instead I was stupid. And I didn't even know. The game got me. Or start using the name of moons? Actually, sweet. I believe that, uh, as like a nod to the old Sega naming scheme, uh, the prototype name for the Sega Genesis Mini was the Moon. Uh, to coincide with the Genesis, uh, being Earth, even though the Genesis technically wasn't Earth, but it was, like, a common misbelief, so they, like, went with it or something. God, why do I know this? Such a fucking dork. God, this is the enemy that keeps on giving me a hassle of taking too long to goddamn kill. Yo, ZB, how am I, dude? I'm pretty good, dude. How are you, dude? Shit. Shit! This is not good for my time. Is there anything else? Because I still need to kill the door enemy here. I'm gonna have to come back for it. Okay, that's exactly what I need. Oh, for the clear enemy, I need the fire vacuum to clear it faster? Well, I can't afford the goddamn fire vacuum, so that's not helpful to me. God, fucking the backflip just fucked me up. I was trying to get two retries, what the fuck, man? That fucking backflip is bullshit. I don't need that crap. Get that out of here. Fucking hell. I don't know how I feel about this, like, don't pick up the wrong crystals minigame. It's kind of a pain in the ass. In the second game, they do away with this. They're just like, get the crystals, they're good. You don't have to do, like, combos. It's just like, three crystals of a kind, you get that thing. Saturn apparently has 146 moons. Does it? I don't know if it had a lot of moons. I figured that it would mostly be in its, uh, in its rings. Okay, so I don't need to kill the Tom Tom, but I still want the treasure. So I'm just gonna hit him once, because he didn't drop anything I need. That's fucking useless. Alright, fine, bitch. You wanna go? Ooh, retries. Retries, that was actually super valuable. Look at that. Now we're in business. Whoops. Can 
enjoying the game so far or not? I am actually. I am enjoying this game. It is not a bad game. I am having a pretty dog. <laughs> I was reading chat. What's the time limit? 10 minutes. Just like that other game. You know the one I'm talking about. Uh, Super Marino Brothers, I believe it's called. Fuck. Okay, that's dead. <laughs> You're talking about mutant buds on 3DS? Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna pause just to give me time to sweep stuff up. Oh my god, the timer even still runs when you have it paused! Am I gonna run out of things? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna pause to get an opportunity to hit that. Okay, so that thing's dead. Thank Christ. Now I just need to kill those two fuckers, right? The time is not affected by any time power. I mean, that's like, that makes sense from a. Ooh, what's the. Ooh! Ooh! Look at all this down here. I got two minutes, I got plenty of time. Famous last words. Oh, we got bombs. Yes. Just what I need. Just what I needed. Famous quote from, uh, Rayman, that is. Alright. I did, like, eat up some shit there, but that's fine. Uh, why does the fucking bomb sometimes just, like, get fucked on the floor collision? You gotta, like, jump. Like that. Damn. Bitch. Fuck. There's... Oh! The shooting in this game... It's not ideal. They they made it better in the second game. Okay, last monster. I'm not gonna let this bitch get me this time. There. Dead. All right. Damn, D plus for my completion time. Shit. This game does not fuck around. Still better than Shadow the Hedgehog? Hey, I like Shadow the Hedgehog, Norlight. Dude, now that I know that we get such amazing rewards as those fucking goofy-ass little videos, we definitely need to get all the collectibles, right? How much money do I have? I got 1,500. Can I get anything? I want to check... Uh, can I go back to previous shops? Do they have different things? Because the previous one had a... Had a... Had a thing. Yes, the shops are different. Norlai, you told me that this will upgrade any sweeper I have, right? I'm not gonna, like, lose this. You better not be lying to me. Because I could use a sweeper upgrade for how many things I can carry. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay, I'm trusting you. You better not be trolling me. Alright. Did I like Penny's Big Breakaway? No, I did not. Because I've not played it yet. 
Uh, Mr. H, have I ever played Rocket Knight? I have. Rocket Knight Adventures, the original one, is an awesome game. One of my favorite Genesis games. I actually mentioned it in a video I did of my top 10 favorite Sega Genesis games. Go check it out if you haven't. All right, later, uh, pick manipulator. Thanks for coming by. This whole, like, big area back here. There's just nothing here. Hello? Game? Oh, there's something here. Look at this. Look at this. Secrets. Man, I've gotten so used to the inverted camera now. That was a thing back in those days where games, for some reason, just wouldn't let you invert the camera. You just had to live with it and get used to it. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look, I can hold more things now. Look at that. That is nice. You struggle with the hero mission on Central City that you thought it was impossible? Yeah, when I first played Shadow the Hedgehog, certain missions, especially those ones on, like, the open-ended levels, they could absolutely be fucking nightmares. Whenever you pick up a PS2 controller, all the inverted muscle memory comes back. See, these days, because I mostly play older games on emulators, I can just fix that. Like, if the game doesn't let you invert the camera, I just do it in the emulator settings. Uh, I, I assume you can probably do that on Xbox, too, right? There's probably, like, controller settings, like, that I could do separately outside of the game, but... Fuck it. I'm already used to it by now. Oh, okay. You can't? You can't, uh, like, set controller set, uh, input differences on Xbox? Oh, hello! I figured that would be a thing you could do. Wait a dawn, you will die on that hill? Bro, I like Shadow the Hedgehog, and I won't even die on that hill. <laughs> Definitely not the best Sonic team game, you kidding? Okay, well, that's, like, up higher. I'll get to that later. Bad Hedgehog is one of your favorite Sonic games. I mean, I like it. I do like the game. Can I get here? Oh, Blinks' movement speed is way too slow. <laughs> the, the Blinks fans are needy, Oshima. All seven of them. I love that meme of, there's dozens of us. Dozens! But again, with the trademark of uh, Blinks expiring, I highly doubt that there will be any Blinks games in the future. Unfortunately. Unless Blinks is public domain, and just someone can do it just because they want to. Ow! Oh, shit. These bombs. These bombs will fuck you up. They're dangerous, man. Who would have guessed that a bomb would be dangerous? I should buy the IP. I don't know, maybe this has some potential. Maybe someone should, uh... buy the Blinks IP and, uh, make a Blinks 3. Collectible! Now I'm really motivated to get these. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. We're way back. Links will be public domain in 2097. Oh, uh, public domain is not about trademark, it's about copyright. Did they also let the copyright expire? They might have, for all I know. I know for sure they let the trademark of Blinks expire. So what, does that mean that someone could just make something called Blinks the Time Sweeper? What the fuck, Blinks? Blinks. 
Just make him faster and it'd be a masterpiece. He is faster in the second game, but the second game is like differently designed. That game is like mission based. It's not kill all the enemies in a time limit. And it's more like linear kind of action stages. There we go. I'm sure that all these failed attempts at doing the platforming here is not going to fuck me up on the timing and uh, completing this level at all. Uh, I assume... Do I try to jump to there from here? Maybe? Oh, I use this. Uh, why does he have the power of time? That seems like a powerful ability. He's like a time cop. He's like, he lives at the time factory that exists like outside of the universe and they like monitor time and make sure that things don't get fucked up for like various dimensions. So everyone has, I think it's the sweeper actually that has like the time abilities. He like hits buttons and it does time shit. Fuck. Oh shit, did I not have any restarts there? Damn it. Damn it. This game does not fuck around, man. I see what, uh, I think it was Norlight saying this game gets hard. Yeah, it does. Shit. Wow, oh, damn. I can't believe I didn't detonate all those bombs there. This music is really so familiar, still trying to remember where it's from. Well, it's from Blinks the Time Sweeper, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's where it's from. What is my favorite era of gaming? Uh... See, here's the thing about, like, gaming eras. Gaming is not, like, a thing that comes and goes in limited waves. Gaming is a thing that just grows over time. So the best time in gaming is always right now, because right now contains all the new games, and also every game that has ever existed before right now. I'm sure loading up my inventory with nothing but bombs. Nothing can go wrong with that. I'm definitely not gonna kill myself. And if anyone thinks I am, they don't know what I'm, what they're talking about. That's what I think. By the way, I recorded the audio earlier today for uh, the Sonic Timeline video. It's pretty fun, let me tell you. <laughs> There's some uh, fucking semantics and bullshit in there. And me being a snarky motherfucker. Unlike all of my other videos, obviously. Damn it. Damn it. I think that killed him. I'm gonna get this shit here. What Sega timeline did Sega make an official one? No, Ken thinks. This is me making my own Sonic timeline uh, based on what exists in the games and putting in no effort to try to untangle the mess that is the continuity of Sonic. Meaning my timeline is a big old fucking mess. <laughs> that is pretty funny. This is the most non-linear timeline you've ever seen. Like, you think in a normal timeline, it goes, like, left to right and progresses over time, right? <laughs> but this is the most vertical timeline you've ever seen that's supposed to go left and right. It's more vertical than it is horizontal, I'll say that. <laughs> yeah. 
You can't wait to see where I play Sonic Battle in the timeline. You know what, Way to Dawn? I found a place for Sonic Battle that makes sense. I kind I kind of did a little bit. I mean, there's still some things about Sonic Battle that don't make sense. But the overall, you can kind of fit it sort of. Sonic Colors can take place anywhere as long as it's right after Sonic 2? Well, I have thoughts about that. Not right after, just after? Yeah, no, I feel you, Zamp. That is in the timeline. There's a lot of games that could go, like, any time after X game, and I, like, denote that on the timeline. Because the, the Sonic timeline is not, like, a straightforward series of events. Because, you know, Sonic is very much like a one-off adventures kind of thing. So many games can just go anywhere. Is it coming out soon? Uh, soon-ish. Probably early next week, because, uh... The next video is going to be the Splatoon single-player review. I just finished editing the audio for that, so now I uh, need to edit the video together. And it's fucking long. I did not anticipate it to be as long as it is, but I'll probably cut it down a bit. But as of right now, the Splatoon video is over an hour and a half long. So I'm like, God damn it. Why do I ramble so much? Why can't I be concise? <laughs> no one wants to watch me ramble for an hour and a half about Splatoon. I don't know all you fuckers in the chat say you want to. But most people probably don't. Or maybe they do. Maybe that's what the success of my channel is all about. Being a dork who rambles for way too long about video games. See, I knew it. I knew people would say you want to. I knew it. You're all predictable. You're all predictable. I'm like Geese Howard. And you're predictable. That is a reference for... So few people. I need these bombs. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Long videos aren't too bad for you. You watch a 2.5 times speed. You're corrupting my beautiful art, sweet. How could you do this to me? Fuck. I can just get up from here. If I made an hour and a half long Splatoon video, you would dislike it without even watching it. Is that better? Yes. Yes, that's better. I mean, realistically, because I'm me, I'm probably not going to be able to cut it down very much. Because at the end of the day, I'm covering like five games and I talk about them in depth. So yeah, it's going to be a long ass video. So I don't expect it to be under an hour, probably at best, if I could even chop it down that much. There's a lot of it I feel like is, is stuff I want to say. Duh, duh. I don't like this side flip mechanic. Why is this a thing? I don't need this. I can manually control myself when jumping. If I want to jump backwards, I'll just do it. Because when you do this side flip or back flip, I can't control myself. That's like a preset jump. You got no control. Watch Prize 695 videos in grayscale for the true artistic vision? Absolutely. They removed it in the second game? Yeah, I don't remember this from the second game. Damn, look at those, like... Because those platforms before, those cubes were, like, Earth's... Look at that. Look at those, like, Earth sky cubes in the background. This is definitely an out to Hoshima world. That's for sure. All right. Goldgate has appeared. Is 
this pumpkin hill with no ghosts? What, you mean the music? What the hell is this? Is it like a big statue or something? Looks like he's got a flower for a face or something. It's like a... Looks like a bird box? Or a birdhouse? What the hell is this? I didn't even realize we were, like, climbing a big statue. You love to see a 3D Mario that uses time mechanic like this game does? This game, I, I feel like if they took some cues from uh, Ratchet, A Crack in Time with the time puzzles in that, this is a good formula, I think. Uh, I just need some work. Blocky floating platforms reminds you of a certain game. Honestly, the those blocks and the way where they were, like, rotating, it reminds me of the Heavy Iron SpongeBob games. Like, remember the movie game? Did anyone play the SpongeBob movie game? And it had those platforms that would, like... Uh, or those levels that's, like, floating in the in the abstract spaceness, and you have to jump across all the cubes to get to the end. People know what I'm talking about. Oh, damn, we got reused boss fights. Let's go. You only played the PC one? Oh, shit. SpongeBob movie game was your toast and jam got the same day as Heroes. Yeah, I played a lot of the- both of the Spongebob games by Heavy Iron. They're so good. What? What? This thing can just manifest objects. Oh, I got you, bitch. I got you, bitch. What's my opinion on the Qbert games? I've never played a Qbert game. I don't really know anything about them. Oh, du bois. Heavy Iron Scooby Doo game is also pretty cool. I never really cared for that game. I played a little bit. I didn't think it was super great. He's coming for me. Seems like the game wants me to get a pause, so I'm gonna get a pause. Shit. Okay, I think I know why it wants me to get a pause. Seems like the window here is small. Jesus Christ, this attack goes on forever. There we go. Aha! In comparison to other platforms, where would I put the Heavy Iron Spongebob games? Uh, I would say they're... Um... I would say they're probably mid-tier, but I don't mean that, like, they're not good. I mean, like, mid-tier for, like, decent collectathons. Like, I'd probably put them around the level of, like, uh... Slightly below Banjo-Kazooie, maybe? Maybe even alongside Banjo-Kazooie, honestly. They're pretty good. Oh shit, I don't have a pause. Damn it. Is there enough time crystals to make another pause? Guy reminds you of the singing fat lady from Knights. There we go, okay. He was just like dizzy there. After Lights, Camera, Pants, Spongebob games dipped in quality. Yeah, Lights, Camera, Pants was not bad either as like a, a minigame uh, party game thing. It was pretty fun. Damn, look at all those fucking crystals that went off the stage. What the fuck? That's bullshit. Rewinds back the boss. Dear God, I hope not. Yeah, look at these trees just like floating in space and shit. Pretty nice vision with this game. I don't know if this is supposed to be like this world falling apart from timiness. Or is this just what this world looks like? I can't really tell. 
These bosses aren't even crap, it seems. Yeah, for what this game is, uh, this is not bad, actually. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. Uh, Shot in the Dark, have I ever played Dust and Elysian Tale? I tried it. I did not think it was very good. Ours has to take the rewind mechanic and put in the Superstar's final level. Maybe that's what that was supposed to be. It was a blink snod. Oh, look at this. Wait. Shit. This is the world you're currently stuck on. Good luck. Yeah, I, I realized immediately after jumping, this is probably what I need to do to get this, right? So, did I... Did I miss it, or did, can you not get it with record? Because I know you're invincible when you use record. No, I went... Okay, yeah, that got it. That got it. Okay, good. You realize last stream you missed me playing Glover? I never played Glover on stream. I've never played Glover ever, just period. Let's just see what I get. I didn't get shit. Come on out, fucker. There. Textures and lighting are really quality? Yeah, it's a good looking game. The second game looks even better, I'm pretty sure, from what I remember. The enemies look very different in the second game. They don't look like these weird fucking inflatable doll toy looking things. They look like monsters. Damn, this is some weird music for like a desert ruins level. I guess this isn't really desert, it's just ruins. But this music sounds so like bright and happy. that do? Okay. The invincibility periods on enemies are quite long. I could do without that. Shit. I didn't want to absorb that. I was trying to save up for a double reset. You got back from walk, but you forgot it's 30 degrees outside. Yeah, it's cold over where I am too right now. Something just broke apart. I should rewind that later. Uh, hmm. I would love to use a time power to make this easier, but I don't have anything right now that would help. Fast forward would be nice if it didn't also fast forward the level, like in the second game. Dude, the A layoffs are crazy. Have they been laying off, like, a lot of people particularly? That sucks. That was respawn. Did they get hit? They probably got hit. Damn, look at all these fucking enemies. Not fucking around. It's a shame Xbox didn't have more 3D platformers of their own. Well, hey, nowadays they own Banjo and Psychonauts. And I think Ori? Th does Microsoft own Ori? Or did they just publish those games? Grab some slows. I could use some slows, I think. Uh, maybe a rewind or two.
I will need a lot of slows. Okay. Yeah, I figured with all the, like, time traps that I gotta avoid here. What the fuck is that? Uh, I'm gonna just shoot it with things. Yep. That's, that's usually the solution to enemy types in this game. There you go. All right, get a pause. Ooh, ooh. I'm thinking it's a double retries. Yeah. This guy is like stuck on this. I should not stand in front of the log. Oh, he got unstuck. He got unstuck. Which way do I want to go here? Oh, hello. Is this, like, optional, or is this the way to go? Seems like maybe it's the way to go. I'm not sure. Oh, the door shut behind me. Okay, well, there you go. The game decided for me. Wait a minute. I can undecide for me. Fuck you, game. Will this open this? It might not open this. It didn't open it. Door is immune to time. Oh, God. Oh, that might have been bad. Oh, no. That was bad. I need another record for that. Damn it, but there was that other way to go. There was probably another collectible there. Are there any records here? There ain't shit. Damn. Oh well. You're not gonna get it all. Yep. Get in the thing, Blinks. This old design uh, really reminds you of Balan, but with so much more going on. Yeah, it's kind of similar uh, to Balan in certain ways. What are the sweepers available here? Dude, this one has a skull on it. That makes it the coolest one. This scary one is a skull model. Man, this these are not very informative. That doesn't tell me why it's good or why it's not good. Useless bitch over here. Have you never heard of this game before? No one heard of this game before. It's like a weird mix of Balan and Shadow the Hedgehog. I mean, not really, because this game came out before both of those. It's more like those are like this. Wait a dawn, someone literally came into the chat earlier and was like, did anyone say anything sexual about the storekeeper yet? Then you had to go and do it. Why you gotta be so predictable? Oh, is the princess or whatever. I think she's the princess. I honestly don't know. Sweet, I was literally about to say that I know you're a big furry, but I also know that you're pretentious enough to be like, no, a cat girl? Pfft. Yeah, I have more refined taste than that, and you just proved me right. You just proved me right. I didn't even have to say it. You, you played yourself. The vacuum costume in Balan is a reference to Blinks. It's all connected. Yeah, it is the same thing, right? You suck up shit, shoot it around. That probably is a reference to Blinks, considering there are so many things in that that are just straight-up Sonic character abilities.
Ugh. This game style is a bit too detailed for you. I mean, it is an Xbox game. They were trying to show off what the Xbox can do and just make the best looking game they can, obviously. Hylian Batman, you're perfectly legally allowed to finish that joke. Nothing wrong with that. Just because it's a cat girl doesn't mean she can't be of age. This isn't Japan. We don't have to creep on teenagers for no reason. Oh, when you think about it, waifu shit, that's like all that is, right? Like, people talk about persona waifus, but those are all high school kids. It's kind of weird when you think about it. Just don't think about it. That's the answer. I, what the fuck are we talking about now? We just got on the topic of waifus. Opinion on Star Fox Adventures? I played it once. I didn't think it was very good. Uh, I guess I'll just settle for one retry. Don't play Persona 5, though. I don't like that one, guys. I like Persona 5. I don't know what the general consensus is amongst Persona fans of how Persona 5 was. I assume people liked it, but there's probably always going to be some people like, This one sucks. Way worse than Persona 4. Because this one doesn't have Risei in it. Persona 4 is better. Persona 4 is actually my least favorite of, like, the, the modern Persona trilogy. Uh, Persona 3 is my favorite. Oh, there's a thing up there. Okay, okay. We don't have any rewinds. Shit! PA is better girl in P4. I'm a Risei man, though I will admit that is probably entirely due to my bias. I'm a big Rie Kugamiya fan. I stand on this, maybe. No. This is like classic 2000s 3D platformer. Can I stand on geometry I'm not supposed to be able to to bullshit my way up? You probably can. Damn. Don't even need to, but they're giving me two. And I'm just gonna have to let it go. Yep. That jump does not need to be in the game. I wish it wasn't. Oh, is this the same door puzzle as before? I think it is. I need records. Uh, I guess just one will have to suffice. Okay, which opens the door, like, permanently? This one on the one on the timer? Okay, that one's like slower or something. Uh, it's hard to tell. I'm gonna put you on this one. How does backflip work? Is it not on purpose? It's just like if you flick the stick in a direction and jump at the same time, he'll do it. But in a 3D platformer where you're just trying to control your character, that happens pretty often. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Check this. Aha! Look at that, using double time powers. Up, 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 up. So many enemies in such a tiny room. And I'm out of shit. Yep. 
you mostly play Sonic Roboblast 2 Persona. The thing for me about Sonic Roboblast 2 Persona is it's a very cool mod and everything, but I don't really play Persona for the gameplay. I play Persona for the story, primarily. So just doing the RPG combat of Persona, not really something I'm interested in. I could use another record to get that, that collectible down there. I am very glad I got that upgrade to hold more shit. It has proven very useful. What's down there? Yeah, that's like way back. I'm not doing that. Oh, we're at the end of the level. Anything else around, maybe? Eh. Can't tell. That's like a thing. Whatever, fuck it. Wow, late stream today? Yep, late stream today. Because why not? I actually wasn't expecting to stream this long. I was thinking I'd probably stop by now, but I'm having fun with this game. How many worlds was this game again? I didn't see when Norlight said it earlier. Someone tell me. Because we're on like world five by this point? I don't know, maybe we can finish this game. At least two worlds, ice and factory, after this. Ten worlds? I don't know who's being honest and who's just trolling. Those camera cuts aren't really great for, like, informing you anything. Will this thing fucking attack me already? Now you attack me when I go to fucking grab a thing. Motherfucker. you. Gotta yeah, let you out of here. Yep. There we go. Ten worlds and blinks, just looked it up. Okay, so we're like halfway through the game. Uh, I guess that's everything here for now. Can I just like hang to the edge of this and yeah, I just I, I, those are just not threatening. Cool. That's a crap ton of content, to be honest. Yeah, for a game like this. Ten worlds, three levels each, uh, ten bosses. That's not bad. Uh, I guess I'll try to use a slow to get through here. Oh, that didn't work. You don't think it's stylized as, uh, Blinks All Caps? It is. On the title screen, and, like, on the Xbox, and, like, the, uh, the game title, it, it... What the fuck was that? 
yes, on the... The game is all capitals except for the I. It's like that other game that Naoto Oshima worked on. Uh, Restar. All capitals except for the I on Restar. <laughs> right? Pretty sure that was it. So which one do I like more, Blinks or Billy Hatcher? Definitely Blinks. This game is fun. Billy Hatcher is fucking boring. I'm having a good time here. Zamp, as much as I wish you were right, it is actually Restar. That is how that's supposed to be pronounced. I don't like it, but it's the truth. We can all try to deny the truth, but that doesn't change it. Uh, that's the way I could have come before, so I guess this is the way forward? Oh, hello. Hello, look what we have here. Is that... Oh, look at that. Didn't even have to backtrack. Look at that. Pro gamer skills. That boulder looks like it's gonna drop, and I'd ha I would have to rewind it or something. What's up there is some pauses. I don't need no pauses. Maybe I need pauses. I don't have any. Okay, that's all where I was before. You'll never not say Rise Star. I'm kind of with you, but at the same time, it is the name. We can all pretend that his name is Titus, but it doesn't change the fact that his name is, in fact, Titus. You fear no floating mask, and then someone asks, not even Majora's Mask? Majora's Mask is pretty creepy looking. They did a good job of making a scary looking fucking mask. Okay, the game clearly wants me to get pauses. So let's stock up. Again, these camera cuts. Where was that? I don't know. There we go. Oh, I see. Yep. Yep. What the fuck? <laughs> that was the side flip. That was the side flip fucking me up. <laughs> what the hell? Now to Oshima, please patch game. Remove side flip. Thank you. Also increases Blinks' movement speed while you're at it. Oh, can I do it again? Nope! I can't do it again. I feel like it's doable, though. I feel like I can get it. I want to check for something. Oh, there's like coyote time double jumping here. Oh, we can get it. Oh, we can get it. Pro MLG skills. Everyone saw. Everyone was impressed. It's okay, everyone. Calm down. It wasn't that amazing. Really doable. The speedrun deck is to run diagonally because it's faster. What the fuck? Good 
Hey, Carved Dwarf, what's up? I'm playing Blinks. This game is fun. I like it. This is a this is a pretty decent little game here. I'm having way more fun with it than the last time I tried playing it. <laughs> All three Blink speedrunners swear by it. Yeah, I imagine this game probably doesn't have a huge uh, speedrun community on account of the fact that it's Blinks the Time Sweeper. Oh, yeah. Look at this tree azure. So Blinks has seven fans, three of which are speedrunners. Blinks probably has more fans than that. Probably. Oh, that was a record. And the colors are all muted. It's hard to tell what anything is. Maybe I'll need a record later. Maybe I'll try to work on that. How did I get here? Which way am I going? Am I going that way? It looks like I'm going that way. Am I going up? Yeah, it seems like it. That boulder is gonna try to cause me- Fuck it. Fuck you, boulder. You're not fucking me up. My bad platforming is fucking me up. Oh my goodness. Blinks has six runs on speedrun.com. Damn. With this stream alone, Blinks fan count has doubled, apparently. Damn it, I wasted my last pause. All right. Slow motion. That'll be plenty, right? Yeah, yeah, look at that. Boulder got nothing. It's too slow. It's too slow. Uh, wait, this is another boulder incline, isn't it? No, we're good. We're good. Oh, that's, that's quite fast. Uh, uh, I can't get through that on my own. The lens flares are crazy in this game. They are. This guy's chaos control is broken, lol. Yeah, right. Shadow's got nothing on this fucker. Um, God, I have to go all the way back there to get more pauses and slows. Oh no, now the boulder is gonna come. Yeah, I need one more slow. Shit. That's a problem. Oh no, there's only 40 seconds left, I just realized. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm just gonna have to try it. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> Fuck. Y'all saw what I was trying there, right? That could have worked. That could have maybe worked. Oh, this is rewinding the clock. This is good. Uh. Oh, there we go. There we go. We made it. I do not have fucking time, though. Fuck! I just gotta go! Dab, what? I just clipped through the geometry. Alright, well, we ran out of time. Shit. Shit. All right, back in. Perfect time to stop the stream. I think I'll finish this world and then stop the stream there. And I don't know. How are people feeling? Should I continue Blinks on another stream? Finish the game? Yes, yeah, Blink's cool. Okay. I am actually quite digging this. This is a fun game. Just 
stream a Blink speedrun? I mean, sweet, this basically is a speedrun. You put this on uh, speedrun.com or whatever, and I'd have, like, the seventh best time in the world. Come on, fucker, come up. There he is. Okay, I need pauses. I need pauses like a moth. I'm gonna have to go to previous levels uh, to stock up on time controls. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Like, I could do that. But I don't want to do that, because that's lame. So we're just going to keep going, and I'll just bash my head against the level until it works. That's the much smarter way to play, I think. This is for Xbox, who had an Xbox? My dad had an OG Xbox. Uh, that's how I played the second game originally. Your first Xbox was Gen 6 console? My first PlayStation was the PS4. I completely missed out on PlayStation for most of my gaming life. Grinding in a 3D platformer? It's not unheard of. You gotta grind in Sonic Unleashed if you want to upgrade the Werehog decently. Oh yeah, this here. I didn't forget about you. Yes, pauses for days. Oh yeah, remember I saw those pauses? Like, I don't need no pauses. I needed pauses. I was wrong. Maybe I can still get those. True, counterpoint to where hog sucks no matter what. That is true. But the grinding certainly doesn't make it better. You know, I gotta say, these, uh, these levels are pretty, like, well paced out in size, because every time I've run out of time, it was, like, just run out of time. You know, there was, like, one enemy left, I was right at the end of the level. So, uh, they're, like, good, well balanced around the 10 minute time limit to give you just enough time. Because normally, you know, like in a Sonic game, you got that 10 minute time limit, you fucking never run into that thing. It might as well not exist. Game actually has incentives collecting stuff and being creative with mechanics. Yeah, and um, it's like a balance between like looking around and collecting stuff, but within the time limit. Because if you spend too much time faffing about, then you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna lose. You're gonna game over. Don't get fucked. People talking about their first gaming stuff. I've already talked about it uh, in my uh, Top 10 Genesis video. First thing I ever played as a video game was a uh, Genesis emulator. That's how I played most of the Genesis library. The first game I ever played was Sonic 3. And that's how it ruined my life and turned me into the person I am today. The only rational choice nowadays is PC. I could see someone wanting to get a Switch because it's, uh, you know, cheap uh, way to play games on the go. 
But considering it's only a hundred extra dollars to get a Steam Deck, it is a hard proposition at the same time. There we go. Switch emulation. Sweet. Your average Joe Schmo does not know what emulation is, and they don't want to do it because it's scary, and they'll download a virus on their computer. Which is understandable. I'm not going to tell everyone to become, like, a PC weirdo hardcore user. If you don't want to do any of that shit, you just want to play video games for fun, I think a console is a perfect solution. I know many people who do not like fucking around with, like, PC gaming and configuring stuff and... Oh god, why when I plugged in my controller did the sound turn off? How do I fix this and all that kind of crap? That boulder, does that like not go? Alright, fucker. Actually, I don't even need to use you. I discovered... The speedrun to- shit! Okay, I discovered that I suck. People who prefer console don't have an inner monologue? You know, that's a thing, Sweet. There are some people that don't have, like, an inner narration in their heads. Uh, are there also people who can't, like, picture things in their minds? That is a real thing. I forget what those conditions are called. Autism? No, it is not autism. It's a real thing. Damn, yeah, I was right at the end of the level when I ran out of time. I could have totally finished the level before. Too much goddamn enemy invincibility, though. Hell yeah. You don't think it's a mental condition? I think it's just how some people are. Well, there is, like, a, a term for it. Someone that doesn't have an inner monologue or can't visualize things in their head. Forget what it's called, but it is a thing. Oh, shit. Did we get enough? I think we got enough. Oh, oh. We need one more. There's one more level before we finish this world. We'll get another one. We'll get another one, everybody. Oh, wait, no, there's not. Shit. We're gonna have to wait until uh, the next stream to see the next amazing little cutscene thing. Uh, boss? Sometimes he just, like, shoots to the side for no, for no reason. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you do. That thing is horrifying. It does kind of look like it's in pain and it wants to die. Actually reminds me of those, uh... Those things from Mischief Makers, the, like, weird-ass-looking NPCs. Where did you hawk? Damn, the balance of, like, avoiding enemies, but also finding opportunities to pick stuff up, it's actually pretty legit. 
game is not fucking around, surprisingly. This does not look like a game that would be, like, a legit game. That's like, pay attention and be good and don't fuck up. But it totally is. Like that. Okay, that boss wasn't too bad. Well, that sucks. All the crystals spawn off the fucking stage. What the fuck? And that was only a B plus on the time, but it also says fastest. Is there not an A rank? Is B plus the best rank you can get? I'm confused. How is B plus? Oh, no. Fastest is probably just my fastest time. That's probably what that is. Mitch Universe. I mean, a lot of emulators these days are pretty fucking good, and you won't run into a lot of emulation issues. Alright, uh, so that is the first five worlds, first five rounds of, uh, Blink's the Time Sweeper. This game is not bad. This is a... this is a pretty good game. I'm having fun with this. I think we will continue this, uh, next stream, probably. It's nice, yeah, it is nice. Rounds like Rystar... I mean, yes, but more like rounds like Sonic CD. Uh, but it is rather late now. I ended up streaming for much longer than I was anticipating to initially, so I'm going to call a stream there. Uh, thanks for dropping by, everyone. It was fun. It was definitely a good time. You just dropped by. Sorry, Regisophie. Uh, yeah, we're calling it here. Glad I got to take a look at this game. Yeah, no, right. We'll uh, be doing it again. Maybe I will even stream Blinks, too. Who knows? Oh, yeah, Evelyn. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I know. Irregular stream time. Uh, I'll probably be back to streaming my regular time when I stream next. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Splatoon video will probably be up two days from now, on a Saturday is what I'm thinking, because it's going to take a while to edit that. Uh, and then the Sonic timeline video will be sometime early next week, I'm hoping. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much that. Next stream, I guess, will be more Blinks. And then, who knows what. Alright, later, dudes. Uh, I'll see y'all around.